morning, everyone. Um, well, it's morning where I am. It is 4.35 in the morning. Just couldn't sleep anymore. I have a doctor's appointment today to figure out what is going on with my back. Stuff like that. I also have stuff to do today. I have to work. Um, I'm going to be clocking in early because I'm going to have to be, you know, clocking out for the doctor's appointment and stuff like that. So I'm going to be clocking a little early. I'm making a roast tonight for dinner. I've got stuff to do. So if you'd like to hang out with me today, today's a vlog. A little bit of cleaning, maybe a little bit of organizing, but not like it has been. So if you'd still like to hang out with me today, all that kind of stuff, then please keep on watching. So I do not have any butter or I would be saying this little baby in butter, but I do not have any. Sorry, I washed my sunglasses in the dishwasher and I did put them away. But this is our roast and I did a overnight marinade. It's like a dry rub. It is brown sugar something. So that is our rump roast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a little bit of oil. I do like to sear mine. I like to render off some of the fat, but do what you want because I'm cooking this in the crock pot. So, need kind of a higher heat, but I ran out of Ziploc bags, like gallon size. I would have done that, but this works too. Look how good that looks. It's gonna be good, I think. It smells good. I also got green bell pepper, onion, and potato, and also mushroom. We also do have cabbage in the fridge, but I don't know if I'm gonna add that. But I'm gonna be dehydrating some mushrooms, some green pepper, and some onion today in the dehydrator. So, kind of gonna kill two birds with one stone. What's nice about the dehydrator is you can have it go in while you're away. I've never had a problem, so it's kind of like a crock pot almost. I'm going to be putting the fatty side down first. That's the noise you want. Okay, I'm putting this in a low crock pot. Yeah, kind of sear, but it's a big one I got. And then in my handy dandy drawer here, I've got seasonings and stuff, so let me readjust it. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing some zero salt um, beef bouillon. <laughs> Sean's still asleep or he'd be making fun of me right now. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get some mixed up. Okay. I'm gonna let it do its thing. I'm gonna add vegetables later, but yeah. Hey everyone, um, so I just got back from the doctors. Um, I changed my clothes and did some makeup. You'll be seeing the makeup look. Um, you saw it yesterday actually, it went up on Saturday. Um, so they pulled up my MRI I had in December and I end up having, I have some more herniated discs and I also have uh, vertebrae that are slipping underneath each other. 
I have stenosis, and I also have arthritis. So what we're trying to get pushed through insurance right now is a nerve, what is it called? Ablation. A nerve ablation where they basically go in and like, I guess, carterize, obliterate, like burr, I don't know what exactly, but it, it, kill it kills the nerve and the nerve ablation lasts for a year and a half and then you have to get it done. Super painful because you're awake for it. If the nerve ablation does not work, they're going to go in and do a bone marrow ablation because I do have bone marrow swelling, which I didn't even know was a thing. Um, and for that, you are, it's like considered a surgery because you are put out for it because they're going to go super deep into your bone marrow. Um, the bone marrow ablation is once in a lifetime. So once you get that done, it's done. I am freaking out because I don't do good with pain and um, they... I can never get numbed up. Like uh, when I go to the dentist, they have to give me two or three different shots to get me numbed up. When I had um, a cortisone injection in my hip for my bursitis, he wasn't able to get me numbed up at all. So I'm kind of freaking out about the nerve one. They're gonna have to do the nerve one first. If the nerve one works, then I don't have to do the bone marrow one. If the nerve one does not work, I'm gonna have to do the bone marrow ablation, which I'm really, really freaking out about. So I just wanna give you an update on the doctor's appointment. That's where we're at. Hello, first taste test in the new apartment. So, um, as you saw in Wednesday's video, we got the Dunkin' iced coffees. I'm gonna be trying the cake batter donut, and Sean's gonna be trying the brownie batter donut. So, you ready? Yes. And we're gonna try each other's too, you know how it goes. Ugh. Okay. It smells good. I'm gonna let, uh, before I give my opinion. Okay, really good. Uh, it just tastes like vanilla. Yeah. What about yours? Just tastes like mocha. Like chocolate? Mm -hmm. Cute idea, but I mean, vanilla cake test, cake, cake batter donut. I don't taste the donut, I just taste vanilla. It's good though. What would you give it out of five? I think it's four. The chocolate, what about yeah. the vanilla? Same. Same. I would agree. Um, they remind me a lot of the Starbucks. Yeah. So they're probably cheaper than Starbucks, um, but really, really good. 200 calories, uh, way too many carbs, 32 grams of carbs. So definitely something not to have that often, but pretty good. Yeah. They just taste like vanilla and chocolate though. So, you know, take it as it is. I got all these fresh garlic for a dollar. So what I need to do is I need to go through and make sure they're still good. And then I'm going to go ahead and chop and freeze them. I've seen lots of cool things about garlic cubes. I don't have like an ice cube tray. So you can actually just um, chop them and then you can put them in a Ziploc bag and just break off pieces when you need it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done. So that way they don't go bad. Went through my fruit, got rid of stuff that wasn't good but I need to get this done because I don't want all this garlic to go to waste. So these are all the cloves of garlic I got out. I'm gonna go ahead and shake it, try to get the paper off. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm not kidding you, it's taken like two hours to get this done. So I went ahead and I minced like uh, probably 10 or 15, probably 15 to 20 um, garlic bulbs and so I'm gonna go ahead and freeze the rest with it as well. You can go ahead and freeze garlic whole so you can do that um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the freezer and that's quite a bit of minced garlic that'll be great for spaghetti, lasagna, soup, whatever so very nice. Okay, so we're getting to the end of the day here. What did you think of the roast? It was good. Yeah? Yeah, it was have, really good. Um, I actually took some roast over to my sister-in-law. She works graveyard, so I just left it on her doorstep. And then we have a ton of leftovers, but it was really, really good. Um, the way it was seasoned with the brown sugar rub and the salt-free, it... How do I describe this? It wasn't overly seasoned. It didn't even taste like it was really... 
how did you describe it earlier earlier today? It it well it was what seasonings are actually for. Seasonings are for enhancing the flavor. You're not supposed to taste the seasoning because it's not supposed to taste like seasoning. Okay, yeah, I like the way you said that. It's it enhanced everything, but it didn't. Yeah, it wasn't super salty. It wasn't. You didn't get a ton of like. Yeah, I guess you didn't get a ton of the seasoning. The meat tasted really good. The veggies tasted really good. So that was that was really really nice. So. Yeah, um, I'm going to be doing dishes here, a.k.a. rinsing them and putting them in the dishwasher. And then I think I'm going to go jump in the shower. I might pop some nails on, maybe. I'm not sure. It's been forever. I feel just all pretty even putting makeup on because I feel like it's the first time in, like, honestly, like a month. Probably hasn't been that long. But I'm going to go jump in the shower and all that kind of stuff. But, yeah. Okay, y'all, I was not successful and I did not do nails. I got out of the shower a little while ago. Um, I totally miss wearing makeup, but it feels it does feel amazing to take it off. Um, I just started another load of laundry. Um, I got to take some... Oh, they gave me steroids. I don't know if I said that earlier, but yeah. Gave me steroids to take, so took those um, when I first got them this morning. Um, but anyway, yeah, I got to take a muscle relaxer. My back is screaming at me but anyway i hope today's video wasn't too boring with you know the food all the cooking and the you know the stupid garlic i was editing back the video i'm like no one wants to see this but that's just part of my life i guess but anyway yeah if you did enjoy today's vlog go ahead and give the video a thumbs up share it all that kind of stuff and let me know down below in the comments how you're all doing how's the weather there we got to the 40s and then we've gotten snow the last two days so it's a Utah spring. That's just kind of the way it is. And uh, make sure you subscribe. I do upload seven days a week all about budget stuff. I do vlogs, grocery hauls, all sorts of stuff. So make sure that you do subscribe. But I do appreciate you stopping by. Another video should start on a plane here in a moment. It might be one of mine. It might be somebody else's. But sit back, relax, enjoy. And I'll see you all here in just a sec.